Hi readers, I'm here with Piper and we were just talking to Miss Nancy who is going to give you some information about your job as readers around your house and around the world today. So let's watch and see what she has to say. Hello, how are you? My name is Miss Nancy and I will be teaching alongside your teacher for this unit to you and your classmates. I'm so excited to be here for your very first day of reading workshop. I hope you're excited too. Mm -hmm. We are going to have so much fun reading together. You're in your home, I'm in my home. You might be reading at your desk on a computer or you might have some books on a bookshelf that you might be reading, but whatever it is, we are going to get to read together. So I just thought right now we can get started. I have a little song for you. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, gather in. Get a little closer. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's called Our Gathering Song from when we are at home right now. We're gonna read, we're gonna sing this song. It's time to read now. It's time to read now. Here we are. Here we are. We're finding what to read now. Sitting in our spots now. Ready to read. Ready to read. Would you like to join me? Okay. Get your singing voices. Ready? I'll point to the words. Our gathering song. It's time to read now. It's time to read now. Here we are. Here we are. We're finding what to read now. Sitting in our spots now. Ready to read. Ready to read. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Today, I want to teach you that readers walk through the world in a special way. They don't just see things. They read things. They read names, signs, directions, and songs too. They do this by looking at the world and thinking, what might that say? So we're going to try that today. We are going to look at things, right? We are going to think, hmm, what could that word mean? What could that word say? And we are going to try our hardest to read it. So I brought around a few things for us to look at. And I thought that when you're at home, you could do the same exact thing. So I brought a few items. I went into my kitchen and I found a few things to read. So I said, hmm, what things have some words on them? My daughter's favorite. I found a box of, let's look at this word. You probably know, did I hear some of you say it? You probably know this, you probably eat this too. Cheerios, you're right, this is a, this says Cheerios. Ooh, and look at that ending, Cheerios. That's an S, that's right. Say it with me. Cheerios. Cheerios. Awesome, so we can find things in our house. Let's see what else I have. Ooh. You know this word too? You are so good at this. You already know so many words. Let's try it. Doritos. Doritos. D. Doritos. Hmm. That's right. These are Doritos. Get them hungry. When we're around our house, we can look at books and think, oh, what do these words say? We can look around our house for objects. We can look at board games. We can look at some of our toys. We can even look in our cupboard, our cabinet, and look for things that have words on them. So we can look, we can think, and we can read. You ready to try that today? Yeah. Right. Thumbs up if you're ready. We're ready. Okay, so whether you're at your computer or you have some books in front of you, I want you to go uh, read your books and also look around your house. All right, off you go. Happy reading. Thanks, Miss Nancy. Bye.